huge, huge issues that we need to, we need to address. How do you, how do you uh, uh, build uh, a new understanding in Parliament? Uh, I'm a member of Parliament and I've been there, you know, uh, you know, a few times before. Every time I enter the parliament, I see it becoming more polarized. I see there's more anger. I see there's less reason and more action. You know, uh, in fact, there's uh, there's a cause of concern uh, for many of us who feel that a healthy debate is required. You will be disagreed about what models are about the debate issues. And through the uh, healthy debate, uh, you know, consensus evolves, or, or you know, or get closer to, you know, um, uh, the similar position. So, uh, these are the challenges that we're facing. Uh, we, as a government, with the 
and the implications it can have for not just Pakistan, but for the entire region. Uh, uh, you can understand that. So, um, in this environment, an engagement and uh, uh, highlighting an issue, <laughs> primarily today is an issue of fundamental, basic human rights. You know, uh, uh, uphold, rule of law, human rights, and the way those rights are being uh, abused systematically. <coughs> uh, uh, state sponsored terrorism is uh, something that is of uh, concern to many of us. <coughs> so thank you for, for being that uh, supportive. Thank you for uh, making your colleagues in Parliament aware <coughs> of uh, uh, what the situation is uh, on the other side, you know, across the LFC on the Indian side. We've uh, seen a similar uh, attempt exercise a public hearing organized by uh, the British Parliament in <coughs> Brussels. You know, it was again back on the 19th of February. And now, and as, as I was uh, talking to the members of Parliament, uh, there's a new report that's come out. And this report is uh, compiled by uh, <coughs> Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, Kashmiris living in Jammu and Kashmir. And the report is 560 pages thick and it uh, uh, gives a stamp of approval to what you know, we were discussing when uh, you, know, uh, you were conducting the meeting. Uh, so it reinforces uh, the importance uh, of this issue, which, in my view, uh, is becoming more and more complicated. And one reflection of that was uh, seen on the 26th of February this year, after the Obama incident which almost led to uh, another, you know, serious uh, uh, event uh, in our, our world. Thank God, it did not escalate to that extent. And Pakistan, I must uh, share this with you, played a, a amateur role. Uh, showed restraint, uh, used diplomacy to de-escalate and defuse a uh, situation which led to war, unfortunately, between two neighbors that are at all parts. So look at the sensitivity, look at the flashpoint uh, that exists, you know, and the the lack of resolution uh, of this issue. So, thank you for contributing in making people aware. Uh, since we, um, and today I was, uh, before meeting members of Parliament, when I met uh, some of our uh, British Pakistanis who are working and studying here, uh, I was delighted to see how uh, competent, how talented our people are, and what a contribution they can make, not just to this society, which they are, but back home. And the fact that they are still, uh, being British Pakistanis, willing to contribute uh, to Pakistan. They might not live there, <coughs> they might not uh, go there, but they still feel passionately about, uh, you know, uh, their roots. And thank you for doing that. We have a lot of talent all over, whether it's UK, 
और 